Right then, this is the draw, the first draw of our sweepstake. I ended up doing two, uh, simply because we had so many entries and I didn't want people to be disappointed. But down there, this is the first sweepstake. Basically, the draw of the people that have entered literally just goes down in, uh, in order that their email arrived to us. So that's the list of the first 32 names there. The video might be a little bit disjointed because I'm trying to do it with one hand. But just bear with me. And then um, over here we've got the the bowl with all the 32 players in this year's World Championships in the bowl here. I'll draw one out, write it next to the name. And uh, that player, if they go on to win the tournament, then you'll pick up a £50 voucher. So let's get this underway, shall we? Right, first one. Which I will try and do. I can promise you that uh, I'm not looking as I do this. Go to the bottom there and we'll pick one out. And it's Nud Gangasaita, his first man up, and he has got Graham Dot. Oop, there it is. It's not a bad one. Has won the World Championship before. We'll be in a position to uh, try and get through the first round. Gets Peter Ebden in the first round as Graham. Matthew Coates up next, and his person is Matt Selt. So a namesake, Matt Selt. Next one in there, just shuffle him around again. This is for Rash Tunnicliffe. And he's had a, a bit of an informed player there, Stuart Bingham. Not a bad shout. Next one up is uh, Katie Challen on this list here. And we'll just shuffle these around again. And this one is Peter Ebden, another former world snooker champion. Gary Smith is our next person on our list. Just shuffle around again here. I'm doing it out of shot so you can see the uh, names on the list there. And the next one pulled out is Mark Williams. Not a bad shout, that one either. Welshman. Plays another Welshman in the first round. A debutant, Michael White. So Mark Williams. Added to that list. Anthony D'Agostino now. And who are you going to get, Anthony? Let's have a look. Pull one out. Alan McManus. Not been at the Crucible for a number of years, Alan. Been to the semi-finals before. But hasn't uh, been to the Crucible for a few years. Got dropped out of the uh, top 16. Just shuffle these around again. That you can see that uh, they're all in there. And the next one up drawn from the bottom is going to be for Dan Gardner this is and that is uh, Deshawat Pomjeng from Thailand another debutante this year Mark Morris who's he got he has got Another very informed player, Mark Allen. Another namesake, Mark Allen. And then Ron Florax, from, I think you're from the Netherlands, aren't you, Ron? Let's check in, and you've got Marcus Campbell. I think it's Marcus that plays Ronnie O'Sullivan in the first round. I haven't got the draw in front of me, but I think that's who it is. Shuffle these around again now. Just out of shot. And uh, next one, Mark Davis. Is for Paul Brennan. Philip Mar oh, got a pen in my mouth. Philip Marshall gets all oh, the young gun himself, Jack Lasoski, making his debut. But a lot of people talking about Jack as a potential future world champion. Could he do it this year on his debut? 
So that's for Philip Marshall, Jack Lisowski. Elaine Parsons up next. And Elaine has another young gun, Sam Baird. Another one on his debut this year at the Crucible. Sam Baird. I can assure you I'm not, uh, I'm just picking these right out of the bottom here. They're all folded over the pieces of paper, so um, try and do this as fair as possible. The next one up is uh, for Stephen Kirby. And he's got Martin Gould. Next one's for Graham Hay, and that is Ricky Walden. Stephen Ibbotston has got Ben Wollaston. Don't know why they're not in focus there. There we go. Ben Wollaston. Francis Barrett has Captain Carter, Ali Carter for Francis Barrett. Another one got to did he reach the final recently? Not within the last two years, might have even been last year. I haven't really uh, looked over the, uh, the paperwork, you know, being a, a snooker retailer rather than someone who works in the media necessarily. The next one is uh, for Joseph Mooney. And that's Michael White, the young Welsh lad, uh, who plays his fellow compatriot, Mark Williams, in the first round. So that's Michael White. Now, the person on this one only gave their name as Big Bad John, so let's uh, see who Big Bad John gets. And it's not a bad call at all, Mark Selby the informed man going into this World Championships this year. Craig Nicholson, he gets Marco Fu. Remember the winner, if your player goes on to win the tournament of course that you've been drawn out with then you'll get a £50 voucher for Billiards Boutique. If you are abroad then all we ask is that you, uh, you pay the shipping uh, you can include it, you know, in the 50 if you want to, but uh, that just cuts down what you can spend. Next one up is for Jonathan Adams, and it's Dominic Dale. Another Welshman always seems to get to the latter stages, or at least qualify for the World Championships. Steph Coyle from Northern Ireland, I believe, Steph. And the next one up for her is, only a few left now, and it's Michael Holt. Making a return to the Crucible this year after qualifying. Michael Holt. Remember, I've got to do all this again now for a second draw later on today. Josh Garson gets John Higgins. Always a player who performs well at the World Championships is John Higgins. Three times World Champion now. The man from Scotland. Steve Norris. He gets... Barry Hawkins. Apologies for the uh, blurry nature of the things coming on here. It's quite difficult doing this with just the one person here. But it is Friday after all. Still a few good names in the hat, I think. Just give those a last shuffle again. And uh, just move that down so you can see the remaining players or people in the game. Got Ian McFarlane next, I think. And his draw is by... By, it's by me, but his uh, player is Matthew Stevens. Oh, I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Matt Stevens. June Smart gets Neil Robertson. Australia, another man that uh, people tip for perhaps lifting another world title. Neil Robertson. Richard Marlow picks out Mark King. Ooh, there you go. Just about to see that. 
mark. King, can't fight now. John Cooper gets Robert Milkins. Barry Morgan picks out what I've picked out for him, should I say, is, uh, oh, you can't see it now, Ding Junhui. Could it be that this is your Ding's year? Four left then, St Scott McPherson gets Judd Trump. Again, another one tipped for the top. Paul Savage picks out Stephen Maguire. Stephen Maguire for Paul Savage. Maguire. Two left then. And uh, Gary Portingdale. And Steve Yeomans. Gary Portingdale gets. Ronnie O'Sullivan, probably the name that everybody wants when they're playing a game like this. Ronnie O'Sullivan, his first pro event of the season, makes his comeback for the World Championships, leaves Steve Yeomans with not a bad shout actually. Sean Murphy, another former World Champion, back in 2005 I think Sean won it. So that concludes our first sweepstake of the day, once the other one's complete, there was about 10 entries as I was doing this video that needed doing. Uh, you can just about make this out now. The, here we go. So Nude Ganga Saita, all the way down. And that's the first draw of the Billiards Boutique sweepstake. Remember if your player goes on to win the tournament, which starts tomorrow, then you win a £50 voucher to spend at billiardsboutique.com. Thanks for everybody to, who entered, and I uh, hope the video has been not too boring for you. And uh, if you want to stay tuned and watch the next one, then feel free. Cheers!